When we put aluminum sulfate, that's Al2SO43, in water, we want to know what's going to happen. So if we look at the aluminum sulfate here, we have metal and then we have some nonmetals. That would mean this is an ionic compound, and ionic compounds often are soluble in water. They dissociate into their ions. So if that were to happen, we would expect the aluminum, that is a 3 plus charge. The sulfate, that's a polyatomic ion, it has a 2 minus charge. We would expect this would break apart and we'd end up with Al, 3 plus, and the sulfate ion. Since we have two aluminums, we'd want to put a coefficient of 2 in front of the Al, and then we have 3 of these sulfate ions, we need to put a 3 here. And if it was dissolved in water, we'd want to write a little Aq after it to show that it's aqueous, dissolved in water. So we might expect we have our solid aluminum sulfate here, put a little S after that, put it in liquid water, and it could dissociate into its ions. But we should check a solubility table, see if that really happens. So we have this solubility table here. The positive ions, they're down on this side, so we go down and there's aluminum right at the top, and then the negative ions, they're across the top. We're looking for the sulfate ion, and it's right over here. Here's the sulfate. So we go across, and we see that there's an S. That means it's soluble in water. So this actually does happen. The aluminum sulfate breaks apart into the aluminum ion and the sulfate ion. We have two aluminum ions, three sulfate ions. So this equation is an accurate representation of what happens when we put aluminum sulfate in water. We don't need to write water on this side because this aqueous means dissolved in water. So that's already there. This is Dr. B with the ionic equation for aluminum sulfate plus water. Thanks for watching.